All right, everybody, welcome back to Real Canadian Fishing. Today, I'm going to do a video on how to cure salmon roe. So, today, I went uh, salmon fishing. Uh, pretty much, I think this is my last opportunity to catch a salmon. So, I went out and I was lucky enough to catch myself a uh, hen. I actually caught a couple of hens. Uh, the first few that I caught though were empty, spawned out, and I was lucky enough to get one that was not spawned out. And uh, it was a real easy job actually, because all I had to do was reel her in, and uh, these things fight like crazy, you know what? They're, they still got a lot of power even though it's pretty late in the season. And uh, she was shooting as soon as I picked her up. So as soon as I, uh, I picked her up with my uh, mouth grabber thing, she started shooting eggs out and it was an easy process as to put my, uh, my bag underneath, catch the eggs, and then I like to do what's called the stream hardening, uh, which is uh, you leave them inside the stream for about uh, three, four minutes in the current, let the water uh, harden the outside a little bit. So that's what I did. There's, there's my row. So this is a, a hen and a half. Uh, worth of uh, row. So let's get to the uh, process of uh, curing this row. And all you're going to need is a few simple items: the row, some sea salt, a bowl, and I like to use this bowl that has a strainer built in. And let's get to it, and I'll show you how you do it. Okay, guys. So this is how I do my row. Uh, basically, I have a bowl here full of water. Now, I use just tap water. But anyhow, I'm going to pour some of my roe inside here. You know what? I'll pour it all in. Do it all at once. Pour my roe in to the water. Then I'm going to get just sea salt, regular sea salt. Now, there's no real measurements to this. You just put the salt in and stir it, and you put enough salt in until the uh, roe starts to float. And then, once the roe starts floating, you know you have enough salt in there and you just do this for a couple of minutes and it actually makes your roll a lot harder and clearer so you just go like this, leave it in there a couple of minutes now that's why I like this bowl here, so I can do this. Okay. You can see the rolls kind of floating. The salt, because I used cold water, the salt didn't really dissolve that much, but it still gets the, the effect. Put some more. There we go, now it's floating. Okay, and then you can grab it with your hand and you can feel it. If it's at the, 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 the firmness that you like. And indeed it is hard. I can't break them. And they're clear. They got a nice center to them. It's very nice. So that's how I do my cure. Very simple. Very easy to do. And the longer you keep them in here, the harder that they get. And if you like them hard, keep them in longer. If you like them soft, pull them out. Then I will be now. I'm going to uh, package them, and I'll show you how I package and freeze them. So with this cure here. I've had roe for as long as five years and still used it and it's still it's still good. So 
I don't know, some guys don't keep it for long, but you know what? I haven't had a problem with it after five years, so. Okay, so here's the uh, finished product. I've uh, strained the water out and I've given them a quick uh, just rinse with fresh water. So what I like to do is, I like to first put them inside regular Ziploc bag sandwich bags and then I'll put them inside Ziploc freezer bag and then I'll finally I'll put them inside a bigger uh, freezer bag. So they're triple, triple bag. So I'm gonna get my marker I'm going to put on the label here the date, October the 10. Um, what I did, salt cure. So that'll be my outside bag. And what I'll do for these is that I will put three to five tablespoons per Ziploc bag. And that will give me what I need for a day's fishing. So I'll do four tablespoons per bag. And then I like to roll them up like this and get all the air out. And then I'll put these into the bigger freezer bag. And I'll put maybe four packages like this into a freezer bag and then this I'll put inside a bigger freezer bag. Okay, so here's the finished product. So as I said, I've bagged four tablespoons per baggie and three bags per bag. So there's four, eight, 12, 12, 24. There's about 48 uh, tablespoons of uh, row here. This should last me quite a while. And now I'm gonna put this into two packages into a bigger Ziploc bag. All right, all right, and there we have it. The roll is done, and it's ready for the freezer. Ready for the next time you gotta go trout or salmon fishing. All right, guys, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other videos, how to make a center pin reel, and don't forget to uh, enter the giveaway. I'm almost at my goal of 500 subscribers. Uh, I think I'm 30 away from there. So once I get 30 more subs, I'll be doing the draw for the uh, trout and salmon uh, lures and stuff. So check it out. I'll leave a link below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good one.